Total Drama. It's a nice show. I like it. You'll probably like it. Ah, we all like it. However, we don't like all characters equally. Some characters are adored among many, whilst others are almost universally despised. But why? After watching many tier lists, ranking, and various other forms of total drama media, I think I can safely conclude to know a key factor that heavily biases our opinion. A variable that has been omitted so far, but which can prove critical to how we view the total drama characters and their community henceforth. The Riz. Today I want to dive deep into the Riz Iceberg, its influence on the total drama community and decide once and for all which character has the absolute most Riz. If you deem this research as important as I do, remember to Riz up that subscribe button and let's do this together. Chapter 1. What is Riz? Before we start ranking down our Riz kings and queens, we need to answer an important question. What huh? is Riz? Sure, we are all inherently familiar with the concept, even if you have no clue what the actual word means or know what I am talking about, but to make this research the most viable it can be, we need to make sure that we are all on the same page here. In short, Riz is derived from the word charismatic, but don't be fooled into thinking a charismatic character by definition has a lot of Riz. For a more proper definition of the term, we can look at none other than the Scholars of Oxford, who coined the term the word of the year in 2023. According to Oxford, the official definition for Riz is style, charm, or attractiveness. Got it? But no. Well, me neither! Come on, Oxford, which is it? A stylish and charming person can still lack attractiveness. If we put an attractive, charming guy into a dirty hoodie and sweatpants, do they still have Riz? Would Henry Cavill in his best suit still have Riz if he wasn't one of the boys in terms of personality? Where is the threshold? When is enough enough? And wait, it actually has two definitions? Apparently, the word also refers to the ability to attract a romantic or sexual partner. Oh, so now it doesn't even matter if you are ripped, smell nice, and have a fun personality. If you fumble up with the other person, it immediately makes you L Riz. Not to mention that the term Rizzing up is used for seducing or chatting someone up, meaning you could technically have Riz, but not be Rizzing at the same time. Who thought this was a good idea? A more suitable definition may be given by TikToker Henry Detala, who in an interview with Vox.com basically describes the term as having game and being able to attract people easily, including those who may be out of your league. For example, take Donkey from Shrek, who was able to riz up an entire dragon. Definitely a rizzler right there. For the purposes of this video, we will take someone with Riz as a person who is able to charm a lot of people by use of their personality and or good looks. With that, let's look at the top 10 truest Riz witches and Rizzards. Number 10, Chase. Oh yeah, uh, small spoilers for both seasons of the reboot, by the way. Chase is not always the most well-liked character by his peers. This mainly boils down to him not being very respectful, but he certainly is respectful. After an entire season of hating his guts, Emma still makes up and makes out with Keanu Riz, which is pretty cool. What does keep him down though is him not being able to maintain this Riz when Emma finds out he was only interested in pizza. But hey, it's noteworthy regardless. Number 9, Dave. You are probably surprised that I of all people would be praising Dave let alone suggest he is some sort of Rizzy Neutron. However, credit where credit is due, Dave must have a degree in quantum Rizics to be pulling this level of moves. Throughout his entire runtime, Dave is giving Sky 13 reasons why he should be with her, and she seems all too happy to cheat on her boyfriend for him. And it's not just that, because he unintentionally rizzes up Ella in the process too. Now that is a Riz Reaper if I ever saw one. He's sticking at number 9 because all of his Riz comes crumbling down with his exit and then again in the finale, but for a couple of episodes there, he sure knows how to Riz it up. Number 8. Hmm, Cody. Cody is an interesting choice to put on this list for sure. Sure, he had a crazy stalker and also that weird boy band face, but I wouldn't really say that either of those elements make him the wizard of Oz. No, what makes Cody a true virus is his stance. Online stands, I mean. The amount of fan work made for little Rizlet is astonishing, and considering he is used a lot as a self-insert character, you can imagine he gets with all the popular females in the minds of all the little Timmies writing their fanfics. As such, an honorary 8th place for the man with the most imaginary Riz of them all. Number 7, Amy. The first and only girl on this list, but don't let that detract from her Riz factor. 
In fact, Arizana Grande over here has it all figured out. Amy doesn't romantically try to score some Riz, but Ms. Riz surely charms quite a few people along the way. I'm mostly referring to this scene, where Riz deprived Sammy tries to steal some Riz from Amy by exposing her. Amy shows that she's the sister with the Riz, yeah? And she manages to completely turn the team on Sammy, and what a Rizless shit she is for pulling this low of a move. Even after Sammy becomes an impostress of Amy, the team keeps taking dumps on Sammy, showing clear allegiance to Amy. This is a testament to how incredible Amy truly was. Number six, Mike. Let's face it, total drama can feel like a dating show sometimes. Characters fall for each other left, right and center. It's hardly impressive to raise up one character on the show. So, catching a hottie doesn't automatically make you a Rizzly Bear. Catching two hotties though, now we're cooking! Enter Mike, our next entry on a trip to Rizzly World. Zoe is of course the main love interest of this season, but Mike isn't afraid to dabble in other options with Anna Maria as well. Well, really it's a different person doing it, but like with any Riz god, it's all about the body, right? And this body is rocking it, alright? Guess they don't call him Multiple Mike for no reason. Number 5... Duncan. <laughs> Mike is certainly not the only character on the show to get some double trouble going down. Duncan even manages to score the two most popular females in Total Drama! What a Lionel Rizzy! There are plenty of times when the Riz that females get in a fight over Dr. Rizbotnik, which shows his absolute Sigma status in the game. Bringing his game a little down though is his inability to maintain his Riz. Once the females have dated him for a bit, they drop him. L Riz moment right there. But the sheer love for this man is undeniable, making him a true Riz buster. Number 4. Ripper. Or should I say, Rizza. Wowza! Ripper is just W Riz all across the board, hot dang! Sure, most of the people don't seem to find him all that appealing most of the times, but Riz Khalifa over here sure knows how to land his target. Let's face it, Axel is way out of Rizzer's league, but Father Rizmus brings his absolute A-game in figuring out what she likes and then delivering. His poem was enough to make Axel speechless and is also enough to net him fourth place. Mad Riz Peck. Justin. Now we are getting into dangerous territory. We have seemingly made our way to the city of love, as all remaining people on this list have a penthouse suite in Paris. Starting with Island's hot boy, Justin. There is no denying that Justin is packing Riz for days. Bro just has to look at you funny and you are swooning over him, whether you like it or not. This level of Riz D should be celebrated and taught at alpha male boot camps, but there are unfortunately some parts that make Justin a Rizner of Swoonville. In Ireland, his maxed out charisma stat is no match for Heather's evil scheme, and the fact that he even gets targeted in the first place is sinful. In action, Justin Rizzes his way through the game, but eventually his Riz runs out, and even his most loyal Swooners don't fall for his bizarre hotness anymore. Chris even mocks the elimination of Chuck No Riz with a fake out. Actually, that's a pretty baller move. Maybe we should consider calling him Riz McLean. Moving on. Number two, Kayla. <laughs> A bit of a weird pick for the silver medal considering what happens in season 1 of the Riz boot, but there is no denying that Caleb is simply Rizalicious. But why put him over Justin? After all, Caleb ends up getting booted first, despite being Riz Hemsworth. And there, my friends, lies exactly the point. Sir Rizalot over here doesn't get booted despite his Riz, he gets booted because of his Riz! Bowie literally states that he targets Maris Poppins because his Riz could prove dangerous on the long run! And while I am yet to finish season 2 of the reboot, I feel like Bowie may have been absolutely right in that agoriz. But even still, all pale in comparison to... Numero uno, Alejandro. <laughs> There is no other valid option than Saul Rizman. Alejandro is such a Charizard that the entire season revolves around his Rizardry! Alejandro pulls Rizki move after Rizki move to not only slay the competition, but basically dominate it to the point that resistance is futile. He is a resilient steps ahead of the rest. He wipes out two entire teams with his crispiness. And even after turning into a shish kebab, 
Alejandro even defies the laws of nature by resurrecting. Bro literally risen from the dead. I mean, look at this shot. Tell me this is not the most riz you have ever risen. This I don't think I need to give you any more reasons. I am proud to crown Alejandro the Lord of the Riz. Sorry for any haters, it riz what it riz. But what do you think? Who has stolen your heart? And who do you think is the true Cristiano Ronaldo of this show? For now, that is all from me. If you like this video, make sure to riz up the subscribe button to stay up to date on more crazy videos like this one. And riz the little bell to get riz when I upload. I want to give a huge thank you to Kenkoi for graciously lending her voice for the top 10 in this video. As well as a shout out to the Silly Billy members Trap, Nighty, Just Dex, Lily Rose 55, Corsa Corpse, Jericho Forest, Zeko Magecko, Media Films, Rift, Creeper XOX, Camille, Nutnut, and Javi Koopa for their support on this video unknowingly. If you would like to become a member as well, you can become one via the join button next to my name. It's only two bucks a month and you get a lot of advantages, including the shoutouts I just gave. For now though, I thank you for watching. This has been Rizzy Billy and Riz member. The real Riz is the friends we Rizzed along the way. Howdoop!